Hey, Chris here, and this is the Dream Wills SL740 water bottle filter, and this is what it looks like. And so I just want to do a quick overview of it. And just comparison wise, this is what like a regular bottle that I use looks like. And you can see this one uh, is a bit shorter than the other one. And then diameter wise, it's roughly around the same. But what I do feel a difference is this definitely does feel heavier and that's probably because of the insulation. It's probably a lot thicker. And so just taking a look at it, logo's at the bottom. Uh, this is all a nice matte finish. It does have a rubber holder over here, which is pretty nice. And now here's the cap itself. And I'll be able to open it up. It does have a little button right here. That's a little different uh, than what I have, which is just going to be a screw on just like so. Now this is where the differences come in. For this bottle, for the water bottle filter, uh, it has a straw, so I just have to suck through it. Whereas in this one, it just has an opening and I just, you know, just drink like normally, like a cup. Now when I open it up, this is where everything is shown. And this is going to be the long filter, the housing, the straw, the all-in-one thing. So the way this comes off is just by a little twist and pull. And then here it is. Now this is an encasing where the filter goes, so if I twist this, this will pop right open and I can go ahead and pull it out. And then these are the three things it comes with. So this is the filter itself. It has to be rinsed for 60 seconds, which I already did, so it's all good for use. And then go ahead and be able to put it back. I start with the filter, make sure that the plus is at the bottom, and then I could put it right over here. That's the right way to put it. And I could just cap it like so and then twist it, and that's good. And now to be able to put it here, same thing, I just have to put it up, and then twist it a little bit, and now that's all good. And now the next step would be actually putting the water in here, and just seeing how it tastes like. Now I did go ahead and rinse this bottle already too, so as you can see it's a little bit wet. And then same thing for the cap, just to make sure I don't get any like a uh, rubber taste or anything like that. So right over here I have my sink, which is where I wanna go ahead and just fill this bottle up with some water. All right, so this is cold water, which is good. And there, I filled it up almost to the top. Uh, but just left some out just so I can go ahead and cap it. And right here you can see how much I have. Oops. Now I just want to do a comparison of the regular water uh, with the filtered water. Yeah, uh, that's tap water. Uh, not the best, which is why we have this filter to make it a lot better. Yeah, filter works. Uh, just like a regular straw, I have to suck, uh, but because the filter is in the center, I do have to put a little bit more uh, power when it comes to sucking so I can draw the water through it. Uh, over here, the walls for this are much thicker. I just poured it down. These walls are much thicker uh, than the regular bottle that I have. So it means uh, this holds a little bit less liquid, but it's gonna go ahead and be insulated a lot more. Like right here, the thickness of it. Yeah, I feel it's pretty thick, probably around, yeah, probably this thick, which is a lot in comparison to this bottle. Yeah, I can feel the walls are a little bit thinner for there. Yeah, and I can just tell with the weight too. So when I have everything put in place, this feels heavier as well too. Also worth noting that the filter does have to be changed every two months. But yeah, that's a quick overview of it.